Dollar Hank, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Fallout 4 mini series of Sim Settlements 2, where today, oh my god, Jake's um, robot there just sort of teleported backwards a bit. Interesting, that was strange, but okay, Bethesda. But yes, we are back here in Concord, just outside of Jake's little shop here, and I'm looking forward to hopefully getting moving with the next quest here. Now, I say hopefully, because, um, yeah, after our episode last time, just a nice easy building episode over in Sanctuary, I also spent another day or two, I think maybe two days, off cam just waiting, just sitting on a couch and waiting uh, for hopefully Jake's radio signal to pop back up into existence because that's how we've known to come here before. But yeah, it's been a couple of days now and I haven't gotten anything, so I figured what the heck, let's just come on down to Concord and see if he is available. Maybe he wasn't gonna send us the radio frequency? I don't know. Maybe he said something about that and I just don't remember because it has been a couple of days since I recorded last. But oh well, let's head on into the shop and see if we got things to do. Hi, they Jake. Oh, nice. hello, yes. They're called gunners. Uh-huh. So if you see any, make sure you stay far away from them, all right? H who are you talking to, Jake? Okay, now, I gotta go. H who was it? But wherever you are, stay safe. I'll see you again soon, sweetheart. Oh! Oh, his family! <gasps> what was that? What was that all about? Oh, hey, darling. Uh, didn't hear you come in. Turns out our radio connection between the hub and the ASAMs works just fine. Uh-huh. I was just recording a message for someone. Oh, recording? Oh, I mean... I gotta know. I mean, he's calling someone sweetheart, and I'm darling. I mean, come on. <laughs> Who is this person? I mean, we know it's his family. Also, hi, robot. Just kind of creepily standing there in the background. So, who for? Who's it for? Uh, yeah. Well, after the whole gunner thing, I just... Yeah. Uh, well... Kind of what? It's kind of... Ah, oh, this is awkward. Just spit it out. I'm sort of hoping to keep this private. <laughs> What I wouldn't give for an interruption right now. There's gonna be an interruption, isn't there? Complete. Ah, oh, there was. Oh right, I asked the robot <laughs> to find my screwdriver. <laughs> Good timing. Uh huh. Um, no, it's not. I don't mean to question your logic, Chip, but does that look like a screwdriver to you? Affirmative. You know what? You're right. Turns out this hammer is my screwdriver after all. Good work. Uh huh. Now, why don't you go patrol or something? Protect and serve. Uh, Your Protectron's a little messed up. Bot ain't right. No, he's not. So, um... Oh my god, why is there no... So, can we get back to the last thing? No, it's just all, can I help? I want to get back to the last conversation. I want to know about your family, sir. But, all right, can I help? Anything I can do to help? Hmm. Tell you what, darling. Uh huh. If you can find my screwdriver, I'll really? tell you who I was recording a message for. Oh. It's probably past time I told you anyway. Yes, it is. Fair? I mean, I've already snooped on your computer and kind of know, but, um... Give me a hint. Not even a hint. Come on, I deserve it. <laughs> Sorry. If you want to know, you gotta find my screwdriver. That's the deal. Dang it, Jake! All right, fine. All right. Deal. All right, then. We have ourselves a gentleman's agreement. All right. Memory lane. Find his screwdriver. Apparently over there? Oh, yeah, there it is. Also, first, before we do, though... <laughs> any, um... Anything new on the terminal here that, you know, might give me more of an insight? Oh, God, what, what log did we leave off on? Was it five last time? So my partner to go meet the Ron. Okay, yeah, I remember that one. Did we read a six? I don't remember a six. <gasps> I'm having second thoughts about all this. When I first started handing out ASAMs... I never imagined it might lead to people getting hurt. Never mind, killed. Can I keep doing this? Is it all really worth it? Yes! Yes, it is, Jake! Yes, it is. We must rebuild. Form a new army. I can help with my Minutemen. Or the Institute. Either or. I mean, I've, I've got one hell of a meal. Oh, wait. No. Oh, wait. No. Yes, I do in this. I had to think for a second. Wait, what save file is this again? Yes, yes. We are a part of the Institute and the Minutemen. <laughs> We've got armies, man. We've got armies. We can take on those gunners. All right, well, let's go upstairs, have a little chat. 
Learn about his family. He has. We get to know more about Jake. Hey. Hey, well, you found it. I did. Thanks. It was driving me nuts looking for this thing. Mm-hmm. Okay, you held up your side of the deal. I did. I'll spill the beans on who I was recording that message for. You ready for a little history of Jake? I am most definitely, sir. Uh, tell me everything. Tell me the whole story. All right. Full backstory it is. So, as I'm sure you already figured out, I'm not exactly local to these parts. I come from a settlement called Sanford. Oh. You ever heard of it? No. It's a nice place. Have I? Providing you don't mind the odd cyclone or two. Oh. Lived in areas like that before. All right. So, uh, what's it like? What's it like? There are far worse places to be in the wasteland you could find yourself. Life there was hard, but it was home. Anyway, that's where I grew up and became a young man. And where I met this young woman. No. One thing led to another, and... Well, you know how it goes. You met someone and had a son, and I met someone and had a... Had a... Yep, okay, okay, yeah, perception. We're going, but... <laughs> I like that, though. But no, perception. Do you have a daughter? Yeah, that's right. I had a little girl. Ooh, had. Ooh. I named her Laura. And from the moment she was born, that kid became my world. Is this going to get real <laughs> dark? Oh, that damn generator again. Damn it, generator. I need story. stalled today. Son of a... <clears throat> I was getting to the good bits. All right. Again? Again? It's the old plutonium well. The generator that kickstarts the fission reaction. Uh -huh. It's been real temperamental lately. Has it now? Hey, you, if you wouldn't mind, could you go get it started again for me? Ah, oh, come on. It just needs refueling. <sighs> I keep getting interrupted. How, I just... I, yeah, all right, fine. We'll go take care of the plutonium well. Oh, Am I going to have to kick that generator again? I don't know. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, down we go. Wait, he said it might need fuel. Is there going to be fuel down there, or do I need fuel? Let's check this. No, just check on the generator near the plutonium well. Okay, okay. Wait, wasn't the waypoint over there a moment ago? Yeah, it switched. <laughs> All right, flip-flop to the other. We'll go down this way. Concord Civic Access. Ooh, so is it... Is, oh, is his story going to start getting dark? Oh, or did he just abandon them? Also dark, but not quite as dark as they're all dead. So, um, hmm, hmm. Well, everything should be dead in here from last time we were in the area. Yep, don't see any red. Yep, got a skeleton, though. And we go to maintenance. All right. God, first the screwdriver, now the freaking generator. It's like the whole world's conspiring. Well, actually, first the robot, then the screwdriver, then the generator. Everything's conspiring to keep me from knowing lore. I love lore. I need it. <laughs> it fuels me. All right, let's go. Yup, yup, gotta kick the dad. Red Roach! That's dead. You're not doing a very good job, Protector. I'm okay. I mean, you did take care of a couple of these guys, but still. Kick it. Uh, I'm gonna go with that. I don't want to use my adhesive. Why am I also carrying adhesive? I should have dropped that off at a settlement. I'll make the robot do it. Science and robotics. Hey, robot. Protect and serve. Uh -huh. I assume you can fix that? Affirmative. Please stand by. Good, good. Go. Oh, oh, fading to black. All right. Hey, we repaired the generator. Neat. Okay, now time to hit the bit grab button again. Ba-boom. And we out. Let's move. All right. Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Yep, yep, this way, this way, this way. I think? Yes, yes, it was this way. All right, good. All right, back to Jake and more story I must know about his past, his future, his hopes, his dreams. Makes it all more fun. <laughs> oh, all right, let's head back upstairs. I'm guessing there's probably going to be another interruption. Probably Gunners, with how this story's been going so far, and considering the last uh, bit of the quest line we did have with him. Which, actually, I didn't actually look at the, um... What's the name of the quest right now? They're usually pretty amusing. Or at least poignant. So let's take a look at that once we get back out of the uh, civic access here. And... Memory Lane! Okay, okay. 
yeah, we're going to be interrupted again, aren't we? I have a feeling that's going to occur with just how it's gone so far. Well, up we get. Did you have to stay upstairs? You couldn't have come down to make it a little easier on me. Ugh, all right. Yo again. Hey. Ah, I got the generator humming again, I see. Uh huh. Thanks. It's no fun trying to work in the dark. I, well, now, I mean, uh, can't be. Where was I? Depending on what you're doing. Oh, right. So, years pass. Uh huh. And Laura grows up. Oh, grows up. However, me and her mom, Caitlin, we ended up drifting apart and separating. But I'd okay. still see Laura all the time, though. Oh. And when she'd stay with her mom, we'd keep in touch the radio. So, one day, I broadcasted our usual radio time to say goodnight. Oh, but oh no. there's no response. It's starting to get dark. Now, you gotta understand. Laura's the most punctual kid you'd ever meet. She was never late for anything. Uh-huh. Naturally, I begin to panic a little. As one would. Wondering if something bad might have happened to her. So I rush over to Caitlin's house and... Oh no. Also, really, a storm's about to happen while I'm into all this. Oh! Are you okay, my friend? Do you need a minute to I gather your thoughts? What is that robot? Oh, for crying out loud. Oh my god, we got interrupted again! Could you go lend the bucket of bolts a hand? As annoying as it can be sometimes, it'd be a pain in the ass to have to rebuild it. Ah! Go help the robot! Oh my god, how did it get out of the civic access area so quickly? It's a very slow protectron. Also, darn you, Storm. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> Screw that Storm. Oh my god, there's more rad roaches. Why does he suddenly have an army of rad roaches trying to kill him? Actually, I mean, I guess it's not really the robot's fault. He is just getting attacked by rad roaches and taking. Oh my god, that is a giant rad roach! And that's how it's done. Okay, cool. I mean, I'm gonna check it. Eh, nothing good. Thank you, friend. You're welcome, utility protectron! Oh my god, we just keep getting, we just keep getting interrupted. We just keep getting interrupted. What is going to interrupt the story next? Alright, back we go. Oh my god, you're at a very, very unstable spot, but okay, hi. I'll join you. Hey. Thanks for dealing with that. Uh-huh. Now, let's see if I can finish my story. You probably won't be able so, to. I arrive at Caitlin's house, gun in hand and ready for the worst. Okay. I open the door and there was no one there. Okay, well, that's, I mean, it, that's bad, but could be hopeful. Maybe they got out. Maybe they got out. Uh, go on. Please, go on. At first, I thought someone must have broken into the place, abducted Caitlin and my kid. But more I looked around, the more I realized everything was tidy. No signs of struggle. And then I noticed all their belongings were missing. So they had to get I out of Dodge. Room, all her toys, books, even her ham radio was gone. They hadn't been kidnapped. They just packed up and left. Ah. Oh. Didn't tell. Well, hmm, hmm. I buy all of these are good, and I want to know, but didn't tell you. You didn't know. They didn't tell you. Caitlin sure didn't. I doubt Laura knew anything about it. Well, there's no way in hell I was gonna let Caitlin just disappear with my daughter. After asking around, I found out they booked passage on a caravan. They'd set off that very morning. And let me guess, they came to the Commonwealth. back home, gathered a few essentials, and set off in pursuit. Uh... <laughs> I'm going with it. Bitch. <laughs> Believe me. After finding out what she did, I called her a lot worse. Fair. Fair. Anyway, I tracked that damn caravan halfway across the wasteland. By the time I caught up with it, it made its final stop here in the Commonwealth. All right. Caitlin and Laura had already departed, but I knew where they were now. Since then, I've put out a radio message every night, hoping Laura might hear it, know that her dad is out here looking for her. After our little run in with the gunners, I needed to warn her to stay away from him. I know she probably won't hear it, but. But still, I had to try. Indeed you did. And thank God it didn't get, like, super dark. Still dark, you know, mother taking child away. But not as dark as, you know, they all died. That's where I thought the story was going. But, um... You okay? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just... 
I've not really spoken to anyone about Laura since I got here. <laughs> Unless you count the Ron. You've told the Any Ron before me? Uh, feels good to finally share. Get everything off my chest. Oh, what is it now? Feral dwarves? Irradiated death claws? Ha! <laughs> Alright, what do we gotta go solve now? Also, Melon. Didn't see that before. And I guess it does make sense he did tell the Ron before me. You know, the Ron finds info. Jake's not gonna be able to get over that to where he needs to go, is he? Yeah, probably not. Uh... Huh. He's gonna be stuck there, isn't he? I'm gonna push him off the ledge. Nope, 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 nope. Can't, can't push him off the ledge. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, no, no, he moves slightly. Oh, yep, he's, he's kind of the, okay, come on, buddy. Come on, come on. I need you to fall off the ledge because you can't get up that way. <sighs> he doesn't budge. He doesn't budge. Talk. <clears throat> All right, I'm just gonna go downstairs and see what's going on. <laughs> Maybe that will spark it and he'll teleport down. Who knows? Oh, people! Oh, guys! Hi, hi, old Paul. Nope, I need him down here. He's. I need him down here for a conversation. Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. Oh, no. Hmm. <laughs> How am I going to get him down here? Oh, what's the console command to teleport a, uh, a character to you? Oh, no. I, I don't remember it. Uh, hmm. Hmm. Maybe if I start talking with these guys, it'll just teleport them down here. Let's find out. Oh, 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 oh hey, you took over as the weapon merchant. Oh, hi. Hey, cool. Who are you? Hubert. Put my guns away. Ball? Hi. I'm running low on food for a little cold. Oh, no. That's Could really the, oh, use and, anything. And there he goes. There he goes. Well, that's... That's, that's bad. I probably shouldn't have talked to him. That just did a thing. <laughs> All right, hold on a sec, folks. I'm going to pause the video here and um, look up what that console command is to teleport someone. And then I'll bring you guys back. Hopefully, old Paul will... Oh, no. Old Paul's leaving. This is bad. This is bad. All right. You know what? Um, I may have a bigger problem. I'm still going to pause, see if I can just teleport him down here. Maybe old Paul will return magically. Uh, and uh, if so, then we'll get back to... This, if not, I'll have to, oh god, restart from where my last safe was. Oh boy, we'll see, we'll see what happens. See you in a moment. Alright, I just used the move to command for Jake, so he is heading on downstairs. Hopefully this brings back old Paul. Uh, if not, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to redo our, oh no. Well, old Paul's definitely left, I shouldn't have talked to him earlier. Oh, he's gonna have to, oh, wait, wait, wait. How, how far has old Paul got away to? Maybe I can teleport him back as well. I just need to get his code. Oh boy, I shouldn't have left him or let him get away. Oh, there he is. Oh, thank God he didn't get far. Okay, 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 okay. So, we need to... Okay, so that's him. Uh, let's... Uh, then we need to... So, nine, zero, four, seven... Oh, wait. Oh, crap. I accidentally hit it's insert as I was hitting backspace. Okay, B, zero, A, dot, move, two. All right, so I'm gonna do that once, just so it keeps the thing. Oh God, did that not work? Hold on, hold on. He should have moved back slightly. Uh-oh. Okay, was that right? Oh, whoop, well, nope, I did one instead of A. <laughs> Idiot. There we go. Okay, now I can teleport him back over here. Wonderful. We can save this. We can make this work. <laughs> okay, I just had to run out of action points, didn't I? All right, all right, all right. So let's let's bring him right here. I'm running low. Oh, there we go. Old Paul. Old Paul, yay. Really use oh, I wasn't expecting visits. Okay, they're kind of over oh, one another. Old Paul. Oh man. Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Uh-huh. Oh, old Paul. Oh, no. Sorry, I wasn't expecting visitors. Oh, no, he's in a loop. Oh, okay, there we go. He stopped the loop. He stopped the loop. Uh, I'm out. I'm out, out of this. Okay, so now... Okay, okay. Uh, uh, now what? Now what? Well, cheese and crackers. 
You must be the ones with the Asim sensors, eh? The Asima? Uh, me and my partner here, yeah. And they're called ASAMs. Or ASAM Plinkies, either way. Said? Can Asims really help build up settlements? They can! Well, sure, as long as what your settlement needs are some homes or farms or a scrap heap. But I should warn you, recently there's been some trouble with... Gee, a scrap heap? Well, that settles it. We'll take 100 Asims, please. Ah... Uh, how many caps does that come to? Whoa, whoa, slow oh, that's a down. lot of ASAMs. We're not just peddling some product here. Besides, I'm not even sure we should be handing these things out anymore. He's going to be a gunner in disguise, isn't he? So, um, what do you mean? What do you mean? Why not? I mean, don't tell me you've already forgotten. That Aiden guy may have been a Brahmin's ass, but he did <laughs> have a point. It's a fair bet that settlement got attacked because they used ASAMs. Who's to say the same thing wouldn't happen again? Hmm. Hmm. Inaction's just as bad. There's no good answer. Taking action puts us at risk, but inaction could be deadly. I'm just not sure it's right to give out sensors to random settlements no more. Not if it puts them in danger. If you're concerned about giving sensors out to strangers, why not have them join us instead? I've got no problem defending those we bring into the fold. Hey, Make sanctuary bigger. Join with you. Right now we're kind of living rough, so whatever it takes to get some assums, eh? <sighs> He's Canadian. <laughs> uh, what's the problem? Look, I don't see what the problem is here. Things are different now. We ain't just dealing with raiders or the odd mutant anymore. Can you honestly say it's the right thing to have these people join us? I mean, I do have an impressive settlement with lots of defenses. Uh, uh, you need to decide. You need to decide, Jake. What's it going to be? I, I don't know. After the whole gunner thing. What do you think, darling? What's the right thing to do? <sighs> Let's help. Don't worry. I'll get you up and running. Really? You'd have us? Oh, jeez, thanks. I still think we may be asking for trouble. But I think you're right. We can't be scared to help folks. Okay, let's do this. Oh, Got it. you really don't know what this means to us. Thank you so much. <laughs> no problem. Welcome to the family. Um, uh, sorry, what's your name? Hubert. Here, I'll mark where we're staying on your pit boy I'll run ahead and tell the others. Meet you there, eh? I'll tag along with the youngin'. I'm fairly familiar with sensors by now. I'll get his people up to speed before you arrive. Got it. Here, darling. Take these. Oh, I thought we were going to bring them into sanctuary, though. You need them. So we actually are going to help them build? And, and if the gunners do show up again, well, we'll just have to put them in their place, won't we? We will. I'm going to get back to repairing the hub. Oh, and uh, thanks again for listening today. Good luck now. I will help you find your daughter. I mean, that eventually will become a quest, I'm quite sure of it. But I thought, I thought with how that went that he was going to join Sanctuary. I thought that that was what Paul meant by bringing them into the fold. Um, hmm. Well, we completed memory lane. Neat. All right, well, let's go, uh, oh boy, let's see. So it was a couple minutes for finding the uh, move to command that I forgot. I'm trying to just figure out, because I didn't actually, I forgot to pause my recording, so it's been recording while I was trying to figure that whole thing out. So I'm trying to figure out what the episode's time is actually at now. Probably around 22 or so. So let's see, we've got our new mission. Who can a Sam? Oh my God, I love that name. Oh, I don't like that image though. Is, are, is everyone just gonna be bickering? Oh, that looks like it's gonna be a it's gonna be a hassle. Oh boy. But meet Hubert's people. So where are we actually heading to? Ooh. Ooh, they're by one of my Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot I'm a raider too. God, I have so many armies. We could easily take out the raiders. I've got the Minutemen, I've got the Institute, I've got the Nuka World Raiders. I could rule this whole place if only the game would let us. <laughs> All right, let's uh, let's start heading over this way. You know, we'll actually uh, teleport down to Arc Jet and then head north. Yeah, what the heck? We'll go have a chat with them. We probably won't get to 
uh, won't be able to get very far in their quest considering the time, but we can at least meet them, have a little chat, and then once they tell us to probably start building some things is when we'll uh, probably end the episode. Since I'm not entirely certain where we are now, really should have actually paused the recording. <laughs> did not. I did not. <laughs> I usually do remember to do that, but yeah, I don't know why. I just kind of shift-tabbed into the uh, Steam overlay and was like, okay, let's look this up real quick. Ooh. All right, let's head up there. Let's either buy some old construction or something. Let's get a gun out just in case. Old Paul better be safe and secure up there and not have any problems. I oh, there's problems. I hear gunshot and a Brahmin's running away. All right, yep, there's problems. Oh, just, it's like, it's just a stingwing. Okay, never mind. I thought it was gonna be, uh, you know, gunners attacking them. Die, stingwing! Beautiful! Where's the other? They, uh, there's, they're always in groups. Oh, no, it was just one. It was just one. Oh, they got a robot! Oh, nice. You're a moron every day of the week, Hubert. Uh-huh. Couldn't you have taken just one day off? Hey, lay off. Maybe Hubert's onto something. What's the harm in just hearing them out? I know this seems out there. See? Here they are now. I told ya. Also, did old Paul just change? <laughs> you really are an idiot, Hubert. Change skin color, After okay. I dealt with this. Remind me to explain the meaning of low profile to ya. Stuff's okay, got a point. That's far enough. Dude, Throw I could murder you. Look ground. at my armor. Let's see those hands in the air. <laughs> you threatening me? Wait a second. Are you threatening me? Ah, oh, great. Another Hubert. Uh, yes, I am threatening you. Do as I say, or I will be forced to hurt you. Dude. God, I want to kill him, but I have a feeling that's going to just go all wrong. Who are you? Who are you supposed to be? I'm the one with a gun telling you to put down your weapon. And look at my armor. How you think your crappy little understand? thing is going to do anything to it? Calm down. Calm down. Let's talk this out. There's nothing to talk about. Hubert may have asked to join you, but he doesn't speak for all of us. And I don't for a second believe what he or this old man say about these ASM sensors. Hey, Sam, for the love of God. Sam's. Thank hey, you. Sam. Whatever. Now, Look, really weird old Paul. I don't want to hurt you, <laughs> but I don't trust your reasons for being here. So please... Just hand over your weapon. Yeah, dude, you can't hurt me. Back off. You don't want to lay into me. Whoa, okay, okay, look. There we I'm go. I'm sorry. I'm lowering my gun. All right? That's good. good dodge, see? No need to point guns at everyone. No one's here to hurt us. So why not listen about the Assams now, eh? Hey, Sam, for the love if of God. If you join this nice lady, she'd help us build this place into a real home. Youngest, right. Seen these sensors in action myself. Just the thing for a fledgling yeah. settlement. No, okay, keeps getting fine. Weirder. First the ears, now this. the two of you up, I'll listen. But I'm still not convinced these things are the answer to a new home. Mm-hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah? Who are you, really? I want to help, but I don't like the secrecy. Who are you, really? <sighs> Considering you've not shot any of us yet, I suppose there's no harm in telling you. You ever heard of the Gunners? Yep. They're a merc group with a nasty mean streak. I've killed a lot of them. <laughs> I actually used to run with them a couple of decades ago. Shoot them now! <laughs> but back then, they weren't so bad. <laughs> oh, really? But recently, they've been making a real nuisance of themselves, laying claim to territory all over the Commonwealth. Their most recent claim was our settlement. They annexed it. So we ran. Now we're just trying to lay low and rebuild what we lost. Oh. But if you ask me, the gunners are up to something. Oh, yeah, definitely. They were never this territorial before. If you happen to run into any of them, watch yourself. Oh, don't worry. I've killed a lot. So, how can I convince you? What would it take to convince you? Okay. Even if I did believe these ASAMs do everything I've been told. How do I know we could trust you? We just had our old home taken from us by goddamn mercenaries. Had to flee just so we wouldn't become indentured workers. 
So I can't say I'm thrilled with the idea of us running, only to be leashed by some new landlord, making promises they can't keep. I mean, a fair concern. Even if these senses of yours work, I'd need to know we're not signing over our independence and freedom. I need to know you're on the level. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, I do like that we can use our local leader perk, though. This is an opportunity. All people want to be free. They just need the opportunity to take it. And just what the hell is that supposed to mean? Exactly I'm, I'm a stodge on said. this one. The oh my God, Paul. just provide you the means, but the responsibility's on you. You put in the work, and what you build is yours. Now that sure sounds like independence and freedom to me. Well, uh, when you put it like that. Okay, I'll go along with this whole censor thing. We'll join with you. You better not try and screw us over. Same oh, to you! great. With Stodge on board, everyone else will fall right in line. But I've one condition. Uh, of course you do. non-negotiable. We'll join with you and use your sensors. But you've got to let us decide how we use them. If we're going to make a new home, then we should have the say in how it's built. I mean, yeah, I'm, I, I, yeah, I, I'm, I'm fully on board with that. I can handle it. You're cautious. Oh, oh I'm Oh, sure I didn't mean to can, click it a second time. But I think you're missing my concern here. We want independence. We want to do this ourselves. Okay, so was that response not what I think it was? We decide where everything goes. So I accidentally clicked I through my know response. I you're complaining. It means less work for you. I, I thought that that meant that I can handle that sort of as the, uh, you know, the condition. But okay, fair enough. Fair enough. All right. Well, then, uh, I think we can make this work. Okay, everyone, listen up. This is how we're going to do things. We need to decide on a leader. Someone who can take charge of the building effort. Mm -hmm. And then run the place once construction's done. He's going to vote himself, Most isn't he? Most of us have skills that would be useful in a leadership position. So anyone who thinks they're up to the task, step oh. forward. And oh, I, th I thought he was just going to be a say, me. <laughs> I'll go first. Oh, of course he will. Hey. Well, what Paul, the... you moving in with them? I can't say I expected Hubert to step forward. But what are you doing, old man? You're not one of us. I know, right? I've already benefited hey. from the censors. If I can, I'd like to return some of the kindness shown to me and help you people out. I know I may not look like much, but I've been around a while. Reckon I could offer some useful guidance, oh. at least until you're on your feet. Mm-hmm, mm -hmm. Fair enough. But all three of us can't lead. We'll have to pick just one of us. I vote hold Paul. Something. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't you decide who gets put in charge? I think you'd probably choose a good leader. Oh. oh mm. What would a leader do? What would it mean to be in charge? Well, I suppose the person would run the settlement. They'd be like the mayor or something. Oh my god, it's going to start Although, teaching us about the table everyone's thing. Everyone's got their own ideas on how to do stuff, so you should keep that in mind when you choose someone. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So why involve me? Why do I have to be involved in this? Well, you're kind of already involved. I Fair. mean, we are joining you, eh? That's a good point. And it's thanks to you and your assums we're able to do hey, this. Hey, Sam, for the love of God, Hubert, Plus, it's not you. <laughs> I think you make a good choice in picking the best person to lead us. It's gonna be Paul. I'll do it. All right, I'll do it. Well, that's all kinds of fantastic. I can't wait to see who you pick. It's not you. You keep saying Asim. I mean, you know what? This is actually a good place to end, I think. We'll start with talking to all of them next hey, time. Uh, and uh, see how this goes. But yeah, that's going to be it for this episode then today. Hopefully you all have enjoyed and you do come back for the next. But until that time, uh, thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.